a series of military actions United States and China heat up, amid rising tensions South China Sea. South China Sea warning, risk of all-out conflict in area as dangerous waters has appeared on radar. Now, in an international security environment described as one of renewed great power competition, the South China Sea region has emerged as an arena of us military and China strategic competition and recently which is getting tense. The South China Sea, now is in real danger of sparking all-out conflict, after decades of isolated incidents in the disputed waters. Main reason, China claims it is historic right of ownership to almost the entire South China Sea the last few days, despite an international arbitration ruling saying, Beijing's claim had no legal basis under international law, a question in the verdict. However, some countries have overlapping claims to parts of it in South China Sea, as Taiwan, Vietnam, Brunei, Malaysia, and the Philippines. DWF's head of transport, Jonathan Moss, in recently has explained that there is a real risk of further conflict in the waters. There's been pockets of conflict before, going back about 20 years there was a naval battle, where three Chinese vessels were engaged with the Philippines Navy gunboats in region. There's definitely the risk of isolated incidents, and as we know, a string of isolated incidents can lead to major conflict in territory. The incidents it comes as two the U.S. Air Force B-1B bombers took off from Guam some time ago, and headed west over the Pacific Ocean to the hotly contested South China Sea at the time. And according to images released by the United States military, some the sleek jets made a low-level pass over the aircraft carrier USS Ronald Reagan in region, and its escorting fleet, which was exercising nearby in the Philippine Sea. The operation was part of the Trump administration's intensifying challenge to China's ruling Communist Party in territory, and also its sweeping territorial claims over in South China Sea. This path is one of the world's most important strategic waterways of this time. While senior Donald Trump officials launched diplomatic and rhetorical broadsides of Beijing at the time, and the United States Defense Department is turning to the firepower of its heavily armed and region, long-range bombers as it seeks, to counter Beijing's bid to control the seas off the Chinese coast. According to accounts of these flights from US Air Force statements and official social media posts, since late January, American B-1B and B-52 bombers, usually operating in pairs, and this flight mission have flown about 20 missions over key waterways, including the South China Sea, the East China Sea, and the Sea of Japan. Military analysts say, these missions are designed to send a crystal clear signal, and the United States can threaten China's fleet, and also Chinese land targets at any time and territory. The United States military can target from distant bases, without having to move America's aircraft carriers in region, and also other expensive surface warships within range of Beijing's massive arsenal of the missiles. And now, in this response to the growing power of China's military in South China Sea recently, the Pentagon has combined some of its oldest weapons, with some of its newest, Cold War era bombers, and including cutting-edge, stealthy missiles. Chinese and Western military strategists, warn that a conflict between the two nuclear-armed powers could be difficult to contain in region. According to current and former United States and other Western military officers, in a clash with China, this fast response from the bomber force could be vital. And while the U.S. with its allies rush naval reinforcements to the Pacific region to bolster the vastly outnumbered American naval fleet stationed in the region, Captain Veronica Perez, a spokeswoman for Pacific Air Force has said, the United States Air Force had increased its publicity about its bomber missions to assure allies and also partners of Washington's commitment to a free and open Indo-Pacific to global security and also including regional stability. Though the frequency and also scope of our operations vary based on the current operating environment, Captain Veronica Perez said,